shocked at some of the prices. It's hitting me so hard. Neera Sood hadn't been to the market in years before she retired a few months ago. All these years, I just depended on what was bought. Bought by her maids who go to market every day. Neera lives with her family in a gated community outside Delhi, India. She has two maids, Mary, who lives in, and Latha, who comes and goes. She has to fend for herself, for her rental, for her food, for the night, for her child. Um, I think it's very tough on them. Latha lives with her family just outside the gate, in the slums surrounding the luxury high-rises here. And like her boss, she's feeling the squeeze of rising food prices. I buy whatever is cheap. I want to buy good vegetables for the family, but I cannot. Separated by just a quarter of a mile, Neera and Latha might as well live in different worlds. With the inflation rate in India at 12%, the highest in 13 years, the Indian middle class is complaining. But it's people like Latha who really feel the pain. Inflation is like a tax on the poor. Those who are less well off, their incomes are, don't go up as quickly as the rate of inflation. When inflation is led by high food prices, that tax is like a double tax. Last year was better. Now everything is double the price, lentils, vegetables. A 50% increase on food for a wife and mother who makes about $2 a day. Typically, a poor family, a poor household, spends half or more than half of the total income of that household on food. Therefore, when food prices go up, it's like a very sharp reduction in the real income of that household. It's hard to believe that there's a food crisis when you visit the Delhi Mundi, a wholesale market where farmers come from all over India. Actually, we sell uh, farmers uh, onion on the behalf of them, and we promise them to have a best price of the market of the day. Onions are a staple of the Indian diet, and there's a saying here that if the price of onions goes up, the government needs to worry. And the government is worried about onions and other commodities, worried enough to put a ban on wheat and rice exports last spring. Uh, well, you know, India in agriculture overall is a net exporter. But the very fact that you put export breaks and export controls, that does put a pressure on the global prices marginally. At the Mundi, the middlemen who buy onions mark them up a few rupees. By the time the vegetables reach Lata's local market, she'll pay 18 rupees, up 25% from last year. But today, Lata has no onions to bring home, as she makes the short walk from her boss's house through a garbage dump to her husband and daughter. They moved here from rural India after their baby was born. In my town, we get food, but not money. So we came here to earn some money. They live here barrack style with 12 other families who share one toilet and running water for just one hour a day. Their room is seven by nine feet, about the size of her boss's kitchen. Not an inch of space is wasted. I have to buy some vegetables like tomatoes almost every day. I cannot store something for a week as it rots. With no refrigerator, Lata keeps tomatoes on the wall, potatoes under the bed. Mm, tomatoes, I used to get one kilo for 15 rupees. Now it's 18 rupees. For Lata, that difference of a few cents means making excruciating choices. Tonight, she chooses rice. It's cheaper, so Lata's family is eating more of it and less of other important foods making malnutrition a real risk. Uh, India's children are highly malnourished, even uh, adults are uh, highly malnourished. In fact, the number of children malnourished in India is even higher than the sub-Saharan Africa, which is a national shame. Neera Sood says all the maids in her neighborhood are suffering from rising food prices. Of late, they've all been saying, you know, we need a raise, we need a raise. And for the first time, you really feel they do need that raise because you're going out yourself and realizing how expensive everything is. 
And she did give Lata a small raise, but it may not be enough. I don't think I should have come here. I want to go back home. I can't live here for long because it's too expensive. If I go back, at least I'll live happily.